Hello and welcome. I'm Allie and this used to be Help My Daughter Loves Horses. It's now the new writer and there will be a new website coming soon. We're still here to help you learn to enjoy horses in a fun, safe way. So today we're going to go over how to take apart a bridle and put it back together. So here's our bridle. You have your brow band, your crown piece that goes behind the ears over the forehead, nose band or cavison, your bit, which helps you steer. You've got your reins that are connected to the bits. You've got the cheek pieces that connect the bit to the bridle. Um, in Western technology, this is also terminology, this is also called a head stall. And this is an English bridle with a Western bridle. You might not have a nose band, the, or in the brow band may actually only go over one ear. There's a couple of different adjustments, but for the most part, they're very similar. So to take it apart, basically you undo all of the buckles. Everything comes apart. It's really helpful before you take apart a bridle, if it's the first time, that you look at what holes the buckle has gone through. So when you put it back together, it will be the right size because all of these different holes allow you to change the size of the bridle so that it will fit your horse. So if we look on our cheek piece here, we're on this, a third hole. We've got two extra holes. So I can remember that when I go to put it back together. So we're gonna undo our cheek piece buckles. So that's going to disconnect the bit from the main bridle. We can undo our reins if we want. And so times that you might want to un take apart your bridle is when you want to clean it because you can't really properly clean a bridle without taking it apart. So we want to take all of these off. If we were going to clean it, so we're going to unbuckle our reins. You can see the cheek piece is still attached to the bit, so we're going to take those off as well. Um, the way that these come off, the oftentimes cheek pieces have kind of a strange attachment. You can see there's kind of this metal bit. So what you do is if you just hold it and you slide this, you pull on this end while holding this end. Um, and when I'm holding it, I'm not holding the strap, I'm holding the back of it. You pull that and the little metal bit slides out and slides free. And when you lift up, you can then just pull the strap free. So now we have one bit, one cheek piece. So I find it, second cheek piece. Then we're gonna undo the nose band. So that's just a regular buckle here and pulling it out of all of its keepers. So we pull that up all out. Then what you see is if I pull this out, it's gonna slide out of the brow band like that. And this is now our nose band separated or our cavison. Then here, You've got the main head stall. So this is the brow band. And this is the strap that goes um, behind on the ears, the crown piece. You can see that the throat latch is just attached to that piece. It doesn't come apart. So now we have all of the pieces of our bridle taken apart. So if you were to clean it, this is where you would then clean all of the different pieces of your bridle, get them all spick and span, washed with a leather soap, um, and then of course conditioned with some sort of either meat split oil or leather conditioner. So now we want to put this back together. So the first part to remember is that most of these pieces have a direction. Um, either there's an inside and an outside, or there's an up and down or a left and right. So I like to start with the bit. So here's our bit. If you have, so this is a, a broken snaffle bit, is what it's called, with D rings. So that's the bit I've always written no in. And you can look and see that there's a slight curve to it. That curve, you want to go into the horse's mouth. So you don't want to put it in like this. See how that makes an ugly pinching shape? That would not be very comfortable. So we don't want to put it in that way. So we want to make sure that the bit goes this direction with that curve. Now, depending on what kind of bit you have, obviously it may fit slightly different ways. So bit goes this direction. So next, now that we have this bit, we're going to attach it to our cheek pieces. So remember, here are our cheek pieces, OK? The way you know, these buckles and the keepers always go to the outside. They don't go against the horse's skin. So if we want our bit to go this direction, and when we put our cheek pieces back on, right, we want these keepers and the buckle to face outward. So we're going to take the left side of our bit, put it into the little part that connects onto the cheek piece, feed it back in through here. And again, we're going to push it up until it drops over that little metal tab. Once it's dropped over the metal tab, we pull it back down, and that makes it snug. So then we've got one cheek piece put on. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, we're going to find 
the keepers and the buckle. Make sure that the pointy part of the buckle faces out. Put this on. Feed it in. Line up the metal tab, push it down, and then pull it, pull it snug. So once we've got that done, right? So those are attached. I'm gonna set my reins aside. Then what we're gonna do is make sure that we have um, our crown piece and the parts that the cheek piece is attached to. Okay, so this has a direction. And you might be able to guess the direction because if you remember from watching my video on how to tack up, when you buckle up the throat latch, you always buckle that on the left side of the horse's face. So we want this to go on the left side of his face. So that means that when it hangs and it puts on, we need it to go this way, not this way, yeah? So I'm pretending I'm the horse looking forward so this would go on my left side, right? So when you look, you can see that there's one strap with holes on this side and two straps with holes on this side. This lower strap is the one that connects to the throat latch. So you can see the throat latch would go here. So we're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use these two straps here to attach to our cheek pieces. So if you remember, I said we were on the third hole. So we're gonna put this up. We're gonna go up to the third hole, buckle it, feed it back through the keepers. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So take our the right side cheek piece, put it into the right side of the head stall, buckled, back through the keepers. So there's how that would go. Now, you might realize I've made a mistake. This is perfect, okay? That's the general thing that's attached to our bit, but we forgot to do one thing. Guess what we forgot? Crown piece. I'm sorry, the brow band. So, in order to put our brow band on, we're gonna undo one of our cheek pieces. It's easiest to do this on the side that doesn't have the buckle for the throat latch because this is gonna feed right through. So, I don't know if you can see, but mine has a little horse picture on the side, so we want that to face up. So in order to do that, we're gonna feed, face it up, feed this in the right side, down this side. All right, so now I'm gonna buckle this back in. You can see, we fixed that. So we've got the brow band now attached with the crown piece running behind and our bit. So you can see that's starting to look back like a bridle again. So next we're gonna attach the nose band or the cavison. So here's our cavison. This is gonna run, if you remember, when you put a cavison on, you make sure that it is tucked in underneath the bit. So we're gonna run it underneath the part of the bridle that has the cheek pieces attached. It's gonna come in this way, run back down this side. So you can see it running back down. So we've got it facing forward. So I've run this in all flat and smooth underneath, down the other side. Here's the other side to buckle it. So once it's fed through the brow band, then I'm going to buckle it back up. Again, putting it back in the hole that noted before we took this apart. And at this point, you want to check to make sure that the brow band and the nose band are both pointed in the same directions. An easy way to mix this up is if you feed the nose band in facing the wrong direction, and it'll be facing backwards. That this is lined so that it could buckle completely on the inside of the bridle, because we'll, when we put this on the horse, we'll tuck that in, and the bit, then the bit goes in the mouth. So then the last thing we have to do is reattach our reins. Now, reins have many different ways of attaching. You can have buckles, you can have clips, you can have lots of different things. So the way that you look to see which way your reins should buckle on is to find the buckle at the end and follow this, making sure there's no twists all the way down until you get to the buckle. And then this should face outside because if you put it on the wrong way, you'll put the buckle to the inside. So we make sure the buckle is facing to the outside. We see which direction this needs to attach. Then when we pick up the bit, we want to make sure that the cheek piece is above the rein. So cheek piece, rein goes underneath on the bit from the cheek piece. And when I say underneath, what I mean is if you hold it as if it were on the horse, right? Cheek piece on top, rein underneath. You don't want to attach the rein between the cheek piece and the front of the bit. So then again, making sure that you have no twists in your reins, following them all the way around. We'll put the last rein on. Put 
that through. So my reins have buckles, so we get those fed through the buckles, pulled up, buckled, and now your bridle is put back together. So you can see right there. And now, if you wanted, I don't know for those of you who watch how to figure eight a bridle, you could figure eight this bridle. That's another video that I have on how to do that. And then you'd be ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching this video from The New Writer. Check out our website for more.